I know you thought you had to go to North Memphis or South Memphis, maybe even Orange Mound, to get good soul food. But I promise you that's wrong. Now you can go downtown Memphis to Promise Restaurant at 412 South Main in Hewling. Promise is a black owned business serving soul food lunch Tuesdays through Fridays from 11 until 3, Fridays and Saturdays from 5 until 11, and Sundays from 11 until 5. And they have a different menu daily. Baked chicken, fried chicken, neck bones, turkey necks, all types of vegetables. And guess what? They even serve oxtails on Wednesdays. So if you were downtown Memphis or you're just looking for a great place to dine, there's a new restaurant downtown. It's called Promise at 412 South Main. To place your to-go orders, call 901-644-6543. That's 901-644-6543 or 901-218-6880. Your biological father, Sam, is alive and looking for you. Zach. You have been told by your mother that your father is deceased, but he is very much alive and has been looking for you since 2007. Zach Dawish is 21 years of age and resides in Newborn or Dyersburg, Tennessee. His mother's name is Carrie Schofner, last known to reside at 915 Forrester Road in Newborn, Tennessee with her mother, Rosa Marie. Carrie was last known to work at Sunflower Health Food in Dyersburg. Zach possibly attends Dyersburg State or U of M. Zach has been sheltered by his mother and she has hid the fact that Zach's father is alive and well. Zach's father wants to be a part of his son's life physically and financially. The father wants to provide immediate housing, vehicles, and cash support for his son and take care of all of his needs. Zach's father has set him up in businesses and set up bank accounts as well. He also has three young siblings that he needs to meet. If you have any information leading to the location of Zach Darwish and you would like to pass on this to his father and receive a $1,000 reward all you need to do is call 901-672-8290. That number again is 901-672-8290. This meeting can take place physically or virtually. All calls will remain confidential. That number again, 901 672 8290. All right, we are back. Hopefully, everything is all right with you right now. That Zach story is a story that you don't hear much about, okay? You hear about fathers who are not taking care of their children, walked out from this children. But here we have 
a father that is looking for his son. He was married to this woman, Carrie Schofner, and they had a son. And because something went bad with them, he has not been able to see his son since 2007. Now, I, I will make this fact known that the father is not black but the father is a very wealthy individual and they paid me well okay paid me well and he just won't find his father his son he's Got bank accounts, he got houses, he got cars. Um, and he just wanted some. He wants to meet him either physically or virtually. Uh, I think the father is now, he's out of the country, he's in Israel. Uh, but he's offering one thousand dollars for the information all right is everything all right now Zena, get over here baby come over here you're all up on this table looking on my hand and stuff get right here okay with your real spoiled ass hmm. Master's Spanish. What the fuck you want? Yeah, only a thousand dollars. Now that's what he told me. That he wanted to give one of you motherfuckers a thousand dollars. He ain't telling you to go find him. Or none of that. He just said. Just lead him in the right direction. Okay. All right, Zena, lay down. Lay down, girl. Okay. Lay. Will you stop now? You're going to have to let me, you're going to have to let me work now. Okay. Okay. Why are you climbing up? Zeno, can I work, please? Damn. God damn, Zeno. I forgot the point I was when we stopped. Um, I think some shit went on last night. I'm hearing that the power went out at several polling locations. And the history of this is and I've seen it before, that the numbers can be one thing, and as soon as the power goes out, there's a switch of root. Okay. I, I just don't, I just don't believe the numbers. Who are you talking to? Shit. What? 
I just don't believe the numbers. But as Doc said after he made his concession speech last night, he conceded life goes on. But for those of us who just wanted him to win, we, we, we needed that. Let me tell you something else that I find real suspicious. About 9.20, Floyd Bonner conceded. Okay. He conceded about 9.20. And so, okay. I, I, I looked at Bono conceding to Paul. Y'all been building enemies for months. But what is it mean? Butler said, well, I still be sure from the morning. And he was smiling. To me, not just me. He looked too goddamn happy to me. Okay. He just looked too happy to me. Just smiling. He got, all his, he got his wife and his children and all of his grandchildren up there. Set your goddamn ass down. Now go, go on over there. Shit. I'm going to put you at the studio and close the goddamn door. Now stop. I just said, why is he conceding so early? And his numbers were closer than Paul Young's than Harrington. I could feel when he could, did the concede, and I looked at all the news reporters there. And good evening to Daniel Wilkerson from Fox 13, who told me last night he's a fan and that he watches me every night. Thank you, man. He called me a legend. I said, well, damn, these young reporters are going to learn. But well, thank you, man. I, I appreciate you watching me every night. But, Bono, now, 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 now see, I, see, here's what I think some, some hanky panky went on last night. I am a firm believer that yes, if you get a million dollars from white folk, you got to do the, what the fuck them white folk tell your ass to do. But I also think that Paul wasn't the only Negro that got paid. I think they all are. Most of them Negroes that were in that race got something to split that vote. I saw Negroes with no 
percentage, zero percentage. I couldn't understand that shit. Then, tell me, please tell me, because I don't understand it. And some of y'all smart, smarter than me, one or two y'all. How is it that Paul Young wins the mayor of Memphis last night? Baller concedes smiling early last night. But today, early this morning, Bonner is escorting Paul Young around Memphis. Okay. Bonner had the Shelby County Sheriff's Department. Bonner was riding with Paul making media events this morning. Mr. Mayor elect is in the building. Paul Young, get ready to come into the WDI studios. Stan Bell serving you well, pushing more power than a door sale. Man, it's a political season. I see all kind of folks coming up here. Mr. Young, first of all, congratulations. We ain't gonna hold you up any longer. I know you got things to do, people to see, all of that stuff. So we're gonna go inside this WDI studios this morning and talk with our uh, Memphis mayor elect, Mr. Put some respect on it, Mr. Paul Young. Yes, looking yeah, forward to it. Mid South Giant. Now you know we have to do like this, Mr. Young. You know. You see Showtime at Apollo, right? Where they rub the wood for they yeah, go in yeah, and compete. Yeah. We kind of like, we rub the Mr. B.B. King, okay. you know, out of honor. You just kind of do like that, you know, yeah, a little, so yeah, yeah, little visual go, thing, go, yeah. Go. So when All we right, go baby. in, you got, the, you got the vibe. I feel it. Mr. B.B. King. I feel the energy. Come on, WDI, listen, tune in right now. Now, ain't that some shit? Paul don't even look. Mayorish. That is, you have to understand that we young people actually vote for Paul Young. We're tired of the has beens. How do we know what Paul is going to do? And we haven't given him a chance. Fuck him and a chance. Fuck him and a chance. He can take a chance and shove it up his ass. And take a chance that he got a, some toilet table to wipe his ass. You young folk, has been. Is your mammy a has been? See, this is this is this is what fucks me up about you young folk. You young folk talk talk about us who have a little age on us. Y'all call us. Has been, but is your mama a has been? And, and, and Paul, if you're watching me, I open it up. For you to be a guest on my show. I love to interview you. This ain't DIA now. This ain't no motherfucking stand bell. I'm the real deal, motherfucker. I'll interview you without cussing your ass out. Now, this is going to be the hard part, but I think I can do it. These motherfuckers 
voting for you because of your motherfucking age? 43 years old? I got some draws. 43 years old. I kept them. Shit. So now we're going to have class. We're going to have mayoral class. Fuck that we had a man in in the race that's been elected and served five times. Fuck that, fuck that. We don't need no wisdom. We just need a motherfucker that said he wants to be mayor. That the white folk give you a million dollars to be a good nigga. Now, good nigga, what the fuck you gonna do? <coughs> Mr. Mayor, Jim Strickland wouldn't allow me to interview him. He wouldn't allow C.J. Davis to be interviewed by me. Send her a letter and tell her, don't go on that daddy gets mad to your show. But you want to go with a motherfucker because he's young. We need some new ideas. What's the new ideas? I ain't heard the new ideas yet. Please tell me, what's the new ideas? What is the new ideas? How are you going to get all the guns off the street? That's what your, 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 uh, your commercial said. Are you waiting for your mama who had to fight your battles? You wouldn't for her to make another commercial. And your mama nice, nice lady. I, I, I like your mama. Now I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna like your mama. Every time I see her down in Steams on Fridays, I didn't go today. Cause I don't want to hear all that shit talking. Uh, she wants to know about my health. Your daddy died of congested heart failure. Somebody said, give him a chance. I ain't got no chance. I ain't got no choice but to give him a chance. 24,000 of you motherfuckers said, this is what we want. He a capital. I ain't heard the motherfucking plan. But see, when I see Bonner cheesing and stepping fetching it, come on. It makes me believe that there was some shit up last night. Has anybody seen Van Turner? Has Van Turner said anything? Come here, I, you know, when you say right Bonner was brought in to split the vote. Bonner announced before Harrington. Okay. Yeah. I think it was November, December. I was there. Down at his place on Poplar. So I, you know, that one kind of confused me. Of, but I think that there were some nannikins. I think that the same folk that paid uh, 
Paul paid Bar. When I see that the Republicans made Bala their choice, and I know, according to voting records, that Paul voted for Trump. So did, did they just make Republican, did the Republican Party have a plan on last night? Well, if they did, it worked. It worked like a motherfucker. It worked. Y'all, let's embrace Paul and give him a... M-Town, all week, you've been a Harrison supporter. Now the motherfucker... M man, I'm gonna block you, or girl, whatever the fuck you are. I hate you wishy-washy motherfuckers. You be all week long. Let's get Doc back. Now tonight, you wanna give him a chance. We got no choice but to give him a chance. He won. Harrison ain't said the same thing. Harrison didn't get no million dollars. He didn't get two hundred thousand dollars. But I supported Doc. Doc told me last night before I left the headquarters. He said, man, thank you. You rode with me all the way. And I did. You know, some of you negative motherfuckers want to tell me, well, you do you the reason he lost. I bet you from a donut hole to a million dollar bill. The law folk voted for Doc. Because this was the very first place that you heard that Willie Harrington was running for office. This, this show. I'm offering a challenge. The Paul Young. We're going to do it by telephone. Or if you want me to go somewhere and tape it, brother, we can do it. Whichever, whichever, uh, floats your boat. I'll be I'll be nice. I can do an interview and not cuss. You pick the place. We can do it on the telephone. Wherever.
poll, I don't think you got the balls to sit down and get a real interview. These little young reporters from 3513, the commercial appeal, the Daily Miffian or the Miffian or whatever it is, they're going to throw that softball at you. But let's play hardball. See, if you can go around with me on an interview and you, you survive, you won't have an easy four years. Because don't nobody interview like me. See, what I see with Paul Young is this. Jim Strickland. Still in place. Now, we got a new in town. You gone. I ain't said that today. I'm going to record a challenge and put it on social media. If you ain't scared, and if your mama will let you, and your mama nice lady, your brother David been saying some negative shit out there, but fuck your day, fuck David, young. Everybody been fighting for you, but you. Come and sit down with me. In fact, I don't want to do the interview by phone. Let's do an eyeball to eyeball. interview and the time, see, it's, it's, first time I, I talked to his wife I mean his wife I talked to his wife uh, his mother and Tracy's stick was with her I don't esteem and I was eating something she thought I shouldn't be eating. Then she sat down and started asking me about my health and telling me that Pastor Young, your daddy, died of congested heart failure. But I'm, I, I believe that right now, you 
there's somebody calling him saying, that Matthew talking about he want to challenge you to an interview. And that's not a challenge. You're the mayor. I got a big audience. You wouldn't interview him like you interviewed Doc. What is that? What does that mean? I threw the, the tough questions at Doc. Pastor got to give the brother a chance. I ain't got no choice but to give him a chance. He won. You can't take that from him. Let me call him and see if he will answer me. Call Paul Young. Is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Very young, this is Thaddeus Matthews. I'm calling you, man, because I would like to interview you. It is no secret that I did not support your running or your win. But you are the mayor, and I am a journalist. Whether you respect me as one or not, I would like to have an interview. And I'm not talking about a phone interview. I'd like to bring my videographer, sit down, and have an interview. No cussing, no ranting, no raving. Just a interview with you on issues. Now, if you're not fearful, you're not scared, you ain't got to ask nobody, you ain't got to ask Strickland or none of your handlers that I think that's, that you have, you got my number. Call me and let's do it. Because, see, I feel that if you can interview with me and all goes well with me, you're going to have an easy role with anybody else in Memphis that does an interview. So, Paul, give me a call. Again, you got my number. I won't pull no tricks out the bag <laughs> but I will ask some very tough questions some that he's not going to want to answer I bet y'all tune in that night, won't you? He 
he probably doing out doing mail stuff tonight and he couldn't answer me. He may return your call when you're off there. I'm going to ask him no questions now. Mm -mm. I don't do ambush interviews. If I'm going to talk about you, I'm going to talk about you anyway. But I'm not going to do an ambush. I'm asking for a clean interview. Okay. I'm going to tape um, to be near. He lost the cause of you. The cause of you. Why? How could he lose because of me? He won. I mean, you heard it? Her thing lost because of me? Harrison, with very little press, no debates, still come up in third place. Okay. Yeah, I do know that there's going still elections for about two or three council. Uh persons if you were in one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and you didn't get fifty plus fifty percent of the vote plus one You're going out to run off November 16th. Whoever this black push is, and I hate you, so-called activists and you black revolutionists. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all don't kiss my ass to shit push you back. Fuck you. You should want. See, I, I see all of a sudden all these. Uh, uh, Young supporters are coming on the page. Stick around, motherfuckers. Y'all might learn something. But see, y'all all want him to be interviewed by me. Yeah. All you young supporters should want Paul Young, your mayor, because he ain't my mayor, because I don't live in the city of Memphis. I'm stuck with that motherfucker, Lee Harris, and I don't like that motherfucker even a little bit. Uh, but y'all should want him to be interviewed by me. Mm -hmm. All right, it's 827. Let me take care of what's really important to me now. Politics is secondary. I'm all about my money.
Okay. Let me let me just say this. Don't call me about doing anything for any of you, anybody, any cause, unless you call me with some money. Okay. It's all about money. Is everybody still seeing me okay? Thank you, dope cakes. I have lost about 50 pounds. I got to go to the teller and have all my shit redone. My clothes. Shit. Woo. I ain't been this thin, and I know twenty five, almost thirty years. Okay. And I feel better. And believe it or not, Zeno has been great um, therapy for me. And Zeno is, I, I am not the owner of Zeno. Mel's brother, when I got out of the hospital in May, was coming through Memphis. He lives in Houston. He's a on the road truck driver, and Zeno rides with him. Left the dog here. I've been dog sitting since May, and I done fell in love with this dog, and this dog then fell in love with me. I can't move for this dog is smart enough to know that. When she see me putting on some clothes, I'm finna go. When I make my way down them steps, she's already at the garage door. And she, when I open up the door, she runs to the back door of my car. She's a rider. Okay. She wants to get in the car and go with me. She sleeps at the foot of my bed, on the bed at the foot. And when I get off there, most times I'm in the middle room watching one of the big TVs. And I used to get up normally during the week. I go to bed probably about 11, 30, 12 o'clock because I get up at 5, 30. It's like she can tell the goddamn time. If I, I don't want to nod in the recliner, she nudging me like it's time to get up and go to bed. But I haven't been sick since the dog been here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's, man, I'm doing well. She going to protect you from these knuckleheads. Ooh. I got that Glock too now. Mm-hmm. Oh, the appointment that Jim Strickland. See, now, 
Paul Young could not just arbitrarily keep CJ or Mr. McGowan appointed again. I push you. You're going to let you angle, angle block you yet. The city council, that's the reason you need to find out who your city council person is. If CJ was to be reappointed by Paul Young, the city council must approve it. Okay. Yeah. City council. So what you will need to do is if you don't want her reappointed, if he makes the the reappointment, and I believe he will. Also with Mr. McGowan. And the chief for money than the mayor. All right, let me take care of some business and uh, we'll be back in a minute. All right, let's see. Zach Darwish, born May 6, 2003. Your biological father, Sam, is alive and looking for you. Zach, you have been told by your mother that your father is deceased, but he is Jewish, is 21 years of age and last known to reside at 915 Forrester Road in newborn Tennessee with her mother Rosa Marie. Carrie was last known to work at Sunflower Health Food in Dyersburg. Zach possibly attends Dyersburg State RU of M. Zach has been sheltered by his mother and she has hid the fact that Zach's father is alive and will. Zach's father wants to be a part of his son's life physically and financially. The father wants to provide immediate housing, vehicles, and cash support. Zach's father has set him up in businesses and set up bank accounts as well. He also has three young siblings that he needs to meet. If you have any information leading to the location of Zach Darwish and you would like to pass on this to his father and receive a $1,000 reward, all you need to do is call 901-672-8290. That number again is 901 Six seven two eight two nine zero. This meeting can take place physically or virtually. All calls will remain confidential. That number again: nine zero one six seven two eight two nine zero. I know you thought. You had to go to North Memphis or South Memphis, maybe even Orange Mound, to get good soul food. But I promise you that's wrong. Now you can go downtown Memphis to Promise Restaurant at 412 South Main in Hewling. 
Palms is a black owned business serving soul food lunch Tuesdays through Fridays from 11 until 3, Fridays and Saturdays from 5 until 11, and Sundays from 11 until 5. And they have a different menu daily baked chicken, fried chicken, neck bones, turkey necks, all types of vegetables. And guess what? They even serve oxtails on Wednesdays. So if you work downtown Memphis or you're just looking for a great place to dine, there's a new restaurant downtown. It's called Promise at 412 South Main. To place your to-go orders, call 901-644-6543. That's 901-644-6543 or 901-218-6880. I'm Tanya Jones, the Chronic Pain Coach. If you or your loved ones are suffering with chronic pain, then this message is for you. I've been a nurse for 34 years, and after suffering with my own chronic pain, I took matters into my own hands. I began a journey two years ago to develop an all-natural. If you're ready to break that chain of chronic pain, give me a call at 901-300-6858 or go to my website at www.ondemandpainrelief.com. You deserve better. It's time you lived your best life. Make that call. Hi, I'm Tommy Shaw with Shaw House Buyers. I want to buy your Memphis area house in as-is condition today. I buy houses, duplexes, apartments, commercial buildings, and land. I pay cash and pay all of your closing costs. Call Tommy Shaw now at 901-380-1000. Or visit me online at shawhousebuyers.com. The best time to do something that you know you have to do is right now. When death comes to your family and you're left in charge of putting together a celebration of life program, you want that program to be memorable, beautiful, and to project the marvelous life that your loved one lived. Well, for your funeral program, you don't have to search or look around. You just need to call the obituary queen D. Ferris of Ferris Media and Marketing and Alpha Omega Monuments. D. takes pride in special design and production of your loved one's memorable program after the funeral and your loved one is buried and you want that burial spot to be memorialized forever. Call D for your monument. D. Ferris and Ferris Media and Marketing Management can take care of all of your print needs, both church and professional. And anything that you need, D. can get it done. You're looking for a graphic expert? Call D. At 901-440-6643. That's 901-440-6643 or go by 2960 Chelsea at Warford. It's lunchtime and I'm inviting you to eat at one of the places that I eat. Crumpies Hot Wings Midtown. Man, that's a brand that's been in the Memphis area for over 32 years. Located at 1607 Madison Avenue in Midtown. And man, ooh, I'm gonna have me some lunch. Mm, all this chicken. Let me dip a little bit of this chicken in here. Mm -hmm. Fried green tomatoes. Mm-hmm. 
Man, this is good. And I'm inviting you, if you're in the Midtown area, you're downtown Memphis, if you work in the hospitals, you work downtown, you can get as many pieces of chicken as you want, from five pieces all the way to a hundred pieces. And look, and just looking at him, they get all various flavors. Sweet red chili, honey garlic, sweet teriyaki, zesty lemon pepper, and it goes on. They also have hush puppies. They also have fish. They've got all types of burgers and all types of sandwiches. So for your lunch, the place that you need to go is the place that I come to, and that is Crumpy's Midtown. Oh, uh, y'all excuse me, I ain't got no mouths when they come eating this chicken. Uh, look, if you spend $20, they will deliver to you. They've got, let's see who they got. They got Grubhub. They got, uh, I'm eating this chicken now. This, this chicken good now. Uh, Uber Eats and DoorDash. Mm, 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 mm. And guess what? They open seven days a week. Monday through Thursday from 10.30 a.m. to 10 o'clock at night. Friday and Saturday from 10.30 until 2 a.m. And on Sundays from 11 o'clock until 7 p.m. Get out of church and come by Crawford. A name that has been in Memphis for over 32 years. Chicken, french fries, Fried green tomatoes. Y'all yeah, think how thick that is? An accessory of anything else that you want to eat. Come on. Join the cuts and pasta at Crumpy's Hot Wings Midtown. And as I heard somebody say once, you sure will be glad you did. Mm-hmm. With um, LaVon. You told me that you've been suffering from erectile dysfunction for how many years? Almost 10 years. It had been working properly for Almost 10 whole years. Right. Tell me what happened, man. When I bought some of that e- erectile uh-huh. coffee, yeah. and it cured me. Wait a minute. You bought some erectile coffee, yeah. and the problem that you've had for 10 years went away. was cured. It went away. With one cup of coffee? One cup. How long did it take for you to feel the effects? 15 minutes. 15 minutes. That's right. And, and, and now you can have sex whenever you get ready. That's right. How did your wife feel when you took the erectile? Surprise. Ten whole years. years. So you're telling my audience that erector really works. It really works. Yours wasn't working for ten whole years, correctly. That's right. And you took one cup of coffee cup. of the erector coffee, yeah. and now it's working. It's working. You've been using these Viagra. Viagra. Which I'm going to throw away now. You're going to throw these Viagras away. Oh boy. Was there any side effect? Yeah, on that. Side effects with vi- Viagra. Mm-hmm. But did you have any side effects with the erectile? No, no, no. Would you recommend that any man that has an erectile dysfunction problem get him some erectile? I would, I would advise him to do it now. This man is not ashamed. He had a problem for 10 years having an erection. One cup of erector coffee, and now he's a happy man. How many days will it, will it last for you? Three days. You sure you done worked it for three days? Three days. Three days, it worked for you? That's right. And you finna go and get yourself something nice. you? Still going strong. Still going strong. That's Yvonne. And we're gonna make sure that you stay erect with erectile. Get it, y'all. If your soldier won't study war no more, I mean your erection is dead. Well, for $10, go buy Shop and Save $14.99 South 3rd and let it live once again. You know, eating is one of the things I love to do. And soul food is one of the things I love to eat most. And when I'm looking for soul food, just like you, you need to go to Shop and Save in South Memphis. I don't give a damn what part of town you live in. You need to go to 1499 South 3rd. 
I'm so damn glad I'm here to cut this commercial look. I'm gonna get me, uh, hello, it's so much here. I'm gonna get me some of them candy yams, some of them beans, some peas, some greens, uh, some baked chicken, some of them, some, some of them wings, some of them turkey legs. Hell, I'm gonna get all of it. You can get whatever you want to eat. In fact, if you need breakfast, they serve breakfast from six until 10 o'clock each and every day. And if you brothers need some of that thing that keep your thing working, this is also a place that you can pick up your erector. You know, I ain't supposed to have no sweets, uh, but don't tell nobody. They got cheesecakes, uh, all kinds of cakes. Oh, my favorite banana pudding. Shop and save, $14.99 South Third. Hey guys, don't forget about your bedroom therapy. It comes in coffee, honey, and capsules, and it works every time. Come to shop and save, it is best so good. All right, all right, all right. It's about uh, 10 minutes now before the hour of 9 o'clock. I'm tired. I'm putting it out here. I'm going to uh, tape a video and put it up on the page. Offering to uh, interview the new elected mayor of the city of Memphis. Now, for those of you who, I don't know why it is that some of these folks you'll be talking to, I can't see in the chat. Okay. I don't see Jerry, whoever this Jerry is. Perhaps we can do what after the show tonight? I don't see this Jerry person. Or this Demetra person as well. All right. But I'm tired tonight. I done did all this election. We're going into some heavy shit next week. I'm through with this goddamn election. And anybody run for office? If it ain't about money, I don't give a fuck. I no longer give a fuck who wins and loses. Mm. Okay. If it ain't put some money in my pocket, I don't give a fuck. But those of you that cross me during the election, please know I ain't forgot about you. And any opportunity that I get to stick a dagger in you, please know I'm coming for you. Okay? I'm tired. I'm gonna put uh, Mel went to a homecoming in Webb, Mississippi. I didn't go because I wanted to do this. Plus, she said they were gonna have a football game, and I was gonna do some walking. Mm -mm. Nope. Me and Zena got the house, and you go ahead on. We finna go down here to Dodgers and get some. Some chicken, and I'm gonna come back and look at uh, Blue Bloods on Bounce, and that's it for the night. All right, we'll do this again Monday. Oh, wait a minute, I need to do this. Yeah. Okay.